is coffee with pizza weird? Um, you don't want my coffee takes. You know what I've, I've increasingly realized, the, the more I've streamed and the more like normal people I've talked to, is that I'm constantly gaslit into thinking like every take that I have where I give an opinion is somehow hateful, even though I'm, I preface it by saying a thousand times, this is just my opinion, please live your life however you see fit. Because um, what I'm about to say, I really, I, something has to go wrong in my day for me to have a coffee after 9 a.m. Now, I'm not saying that's exactly the same for you. I also understand that in the world of Europe, as it's, as it's known, they kind of uh, have more of a culture of drinking coffee as like a, an all day or multiple times a day experience. Um, and there was a time where I fancied, what, what is happening here? I fancied myself something of an, you know, an, an urban male. I would finish eating a nice meal at an Italian restaurant and be like, you know what really hits hard? Like a 10 p.m. espresso. I'm just no longer, I would say, at a point in my life where that feels like I'm doing anything but fucking myself over. So whenever, like, I go somewhere, it's like 4 p.m. and they're like, can I get you something? Like a coffee? I'm like, what are you talking about? It's 4 p.m. You think I'm gonna have a coffee? Like, I'm not gonna sleep until, until 2. I have my coffee, uh, you know, at 5.45 a.m., the same as everybody else in this, in this joint. I don't feel like it's innately weird to have, like, X food with X drink or something like that. You know, I feel like whatever you, whatever you feel like is fine. I'm very much like a, I'm a morning coffee drinker. Okay, milk and chili? Well, I just feel like, again, you wouldn't catch me drinking uh, just a glass of milk as an adult to begin with, but I also don't live in the prairies or the United States of America, so I understand that's not something that everybody agrees with. Cereal with beer? Well, that's like a cry for help. You have, you're suffering from like a, a, an alcohol abuse disorder. I'm not going to engage you in discussion about whether that's like socially acceptable. Like you already know the answer to that. You can do whatever you want, but <laughs> I'm not judging you. The DSM-5 is judging you. Pickles and peanut butter? I dead ass don't care. Like if you're 35 years old and you like pickles and peanut butter, go go ape, man. Okay, this is just, I'm, I'm fighting like poverty mode. Stand up, <laughs> get in the air. Man's doing the Zoomer talk. It's not Zoomer talk, it's just keeping up with the parlance of our times. You be the dude in the 1800s who's still saying like, I beseech thee, prithee. What fine wares do you have, purveyor? I'd be the dude that's like, hmm, prithee. <laughs> I would love some caramels right now. And you'd be like, all the kids these days are ruining society eating their caramels. You can barely get a fish-flavored licorice stick anymore. You know, you're, you're not in keeping with the times anymore. You're not contemporary.